What's up, YouTube? TCB here! I've got myself a ugh, case of the new Legendary Collection, so let's crack this open! Ah, that new case smell. Alright, so here we have our Legendary Collection. Now, I, this is beautiful, I must say. Um, just this cover card right here. I don't know how long it's been since Quasar initially came out, but there has not been a reprint since its original printing. And all it has done is increase in value. It became harder and harder to get. It started out as like $25 to $30. I think it climbed eventually to almost $70 maybe. All right. It's almost like a religious experience here. Alright, so uh, here are our promos. Actually, seeing as I have the, uh, the blade out, I might as well use it. As minimal damage to the uh, cards as possible. Alright, so in each Legendary Collection 5Ds, we get... Jormungandr, the Nordic Serpent. Well, that's quite intense. Fenrir, the Nordic Wolf. Stardust Flash. Target one Stardust Monster in your graveyard. Special summon it. An Ultra Rare Black Rose Dragon. And the card of the hour, Shooting Quasar Dragon. Well, that, is, that is just phenomenal. So those are the five promos that come with every single Legendary Collection 5Ds. And then, as is standard with the past few Legendary Collections, as well as uh, the Mega Tins that just recently came out, we have our Mega Packs that include a Secret, an Ultra, a Super, a Rare, and some Commons. All right. So there are so many cards in this set that people want. We have ourselves Goyo Guardian, Secret Glow Up Bulb, Vanity's Emptiness. They've been waiting for a reprint of Vanity's Emptiness for quite some time. All right, Blackwing, Kochi Daybreak, Junk, Servant, Mech Timed Blast. For our rare, we have Earthbound Whirlwind, for an Ultra, we have Nordic Relic Gungnir. For our Secret, whoa, we have ourselves a Secret Rare TG Hyper Librarian. I remember when this card first came out, this card was upwards of $80. But then again, you could play three, and Plant Synchro was king at the time. So we have ourselves a Secret TG Hyper, Hyper Librarian. And then, for our Super, Mechlord Emperor Grano. So let me uh, put those out for you. Super. Secret. Ultra. Rare. Descending Lost Star. Blackwing. Arbolus the Mega Quake. And that is it for that Mega Pack. Alright. Yeah, you know, it's, it's funny with a lot of these reprints, oftentimes the cards that are being reprinted won't even go down in value. That, I think that is the case with uh, Vanity's, empties right, Vanity's Emptiness right now. All right. Tier of the Nordic Champions. Junk Forward. For our rare, we have Hyper Psychic Blaster. For our Ultra, whoa, an Ultra TG Rush Rhino. That is a very cool looking card, Hollow. I don't think it is I don't think it's come shiny prior to this. And then I believe our secret is next. TGI EM1. Or is that TG1? Oh, that's TG1 EM1. Wow, that's look at how shiny that is. That's what these sets are for though. These sets are for making everything shiny. And then for our super, Blue Rose Dragon. Blackwing, Elf in the Raven. Blackwing, Etessian of Two Swords. Thorn of Malice. And I believe that is it for this pack.
Man, that is a beautiful looking TG1 EM1. All right. Now to our third pack here. This is exciting. It's like playing the lottery. Do you ever get that feeling? Like opening packs is like kind of like playing the lottery. All right, we've got Blackwing, Mithril, the Silver Shield. Blackwing, Aurora, the Northern Lights. Steam, Synchron for our rare. For our ultra, TGX3, DX2. I don't even know what this does. Target three TG monsters in your graveyard. Shuffle all three into your deck, then draw two cards. Was this... Is this a new card for the set? I may have to look that up because I don't think I've ever read this card before. Well, that's a that is a fantastic card, I must say. All right, and then for our secret, glow up bulb. Look at that. Beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. It's, it's like jewelry for Yu-Gi-Oh players pretty much. Rappers have gold chains, women have diamond rings, we have shiny glow up bulbs. And then for our super, Cephalon, the ultimate Time Lord. To continue with our commons, TG, Recipro, Dragonfly. Blackwing, Gust, the Backblast. Battle Waltz. And that is it for this pack. Alright, things are getting intense now. You know, honestly, whenever you buy one of these box, you get a Black Rose and a Quasar. You've already won. So, what you pull in the pack, like, there's a lot of great cards you can pull. But man, Black Rose and Quasar. Alright, we've got ourselves a Raptor Wing Strike. Revival of the Immortals. The Resolute Mechlord Army. For our rare, we have Earthbound Wave. And then... Blackwing, Sirico the Dawn, Ultra. Yeah, this set hollowed out Blackwings, too. Blackwing players were pumped for that. I think there's Ultra Whirlwind, or even Secret World Whirlwind in here. We shall see. All right, for our secret we have... Trill Warrior. Wow, look at that. Man. That is a, that is a pretty Drill Warrior. That looks like the rarity Drill Warrior always should have been. And then for our super, Earthbound, Immortal... Kapak Apu. Barrier Resonator for another common. Mimir of the Nordic Ascendant. I really see they're focusing on on the Nordic archetype and the Mechlord archetype. And what was the, th the Earthbound Immortal archetype for, for a lot of the uh, a lot of cards. Raptor Wing Strike. And that is it for this pack. Man, look at that Drill Warrior. That is that is some pretty stuff right there. All right, now for the last pack of this box. Let's let's do it. Let's do it up. How's your day going, YouTube? I hope I hope everything's going well. I'm uh I mean I got a case of Legendary Collection in the mail, so I'm doing good. But I hope you're doing well too. Uh, oops, let's turn that around. Red carpet. Red dragon archfiend comes. Comes common. Cool. I like that. I hope there's a common Stardust in here, too. All right. Flare Resonator. For our rare. Ooh, that's cool. Rare Level Eater. Once again, fun fact about me, my favorite rarity is rare. Then for our secret. Oh, no. Ultra. I apologize. Wow. Starlight Road. That looks nice. Secret was a good rarity for this, but Ultra is pretty, pretty equivalent. And now for the secret, and there it is, the Vanity's Emptiness, which these I believe are going for 30-ish right now, and the commons only dropped to 2025, so always a good pull when you get a Vanity's. And a super Mechlord Emperor Granel. Then we have Descending Lost Star, wow, these next two cards, that one, and Blackwing, Abolhus, the Mega Quake, are in really atrocious condition. I am very excited that no damage came to the uh, 
the hollows in this pack, but man, look at that corner. That is awful. And I didn't do that. That came out of the pack like that. All right. Well, that was one box of Legendary Collection. You know what? Let's do one more for you. Might as well. I have an entire case, and that was just way too much fun. All right, so we've got our second Legendary Collection right here. Our promo pack and our five mega packs. I'm very excited that I got a, a Vanity's Emptiness on that on that last pack. There's a lot of cool secret rares. I knew as a trap card it could have been uh, could have been trap stun as well because I know that comes secret in this. All right, our first pack for the second legendary collection box. Junk forward. The Nordic lights. Resonator call. And then for our rare, we have Red Dragon Vase. If you control a Red Dragon Archfiend, draw two cards. You cannot normal or special summon. Turn you activate this card. Well, that's kind of cool. And then Ultra comes after rare, I believe. For our Ultra, we have Scrap Iron Scarecrow. All right. And then for our secret, another Drill Warrior. I'll take as many of these as I can get. These are gorgeous. And then for our super... Doppel Warrior. That's actually really cool. I was looking through my collection today and I saw I had a bunch of rare of these. I did not know that they were coming super in this set. <sighs> Everything looks better shiny. Can't we all agree? Then we have uh, Lifestream Dragon. Sonic Chick. And that will be it for the first pack of the second Legendary Collection. Alright, I'm picking up speed now because now I'm getting excited. Before it was just kind of anticipation. Oracle of the Sun, TG, Catapult Dragon, Götterdammerung, something uh, Nordic. It's all very Norwegian sounding. For our rare, we have Mono Synchron. For our ultra, Lightning Warrior. And then for our secret, Stygian Sergeants. That's, that's awesome. These came super originally, I believe, so this is a rarity bump. It was used in Infernity. I'm not really sure if uh, it has a place in the current format, but it's very cool. And then for our Super, TG Blade Blaster. And then to wrap it up, Mechlord Army of Grenell and Junk Blader. Third pack of this legendary collection. Oh, man. I love opening new sets. It's always great. Revival of the Immortals. The Resolute Mechlord Army. For our rare, we have Mechlord Army of Skill. For our ultra... Oof. Blackwing Gladius the Midnight Sun. Very pretty card. For our secret... Unknown Synchron. You know, it's funny, for uh, hating Plant Synchro, they sure did hollow out a lot of tech cards that go into Plant Synchro. Uh, for our super, Earthbound Immortal, Kaku, Kahua, Mara of the Nordic Afar, and, Bla and Blackwing Backlash. Alright. Fourth pack. Oof, looks like we got some more mangled cards. No good. At least it's not the, the hollows. Alright. Moon Dragon Quila. Black Return. Spirit Force. For our rare, we have ourselves another level eater. For our ultra, Blackwing, sure the blue flame. Man, Blackwing Flares are Blackwing players are loving it right now. For our secret we've got. Valkyrie of the Nordic Ascendant. And for our super, Red Nova Dragon. And then to uh, wrap it up with two mangled cards, Resonator Engine and Blackwing Kogareshi the Wanderer. I've got to work on their... Uh... I don't think I can uh, tout those as misprints or miscuts. It seems like Konami's getting pretty, uh, pretty sloppy in their card printing. Or at least this... 
this batch of Mega Packs is, is pretty brutal. Good, no damage cards in this one. We've got ourselves Odin's Eye. TG SX1. We have a rare Golden Apples for our Ultra. Magical Android. Oof. That's, that's a pretty looking card. I love playing this thing too. I've sat on a Magical Android for many turns just gaining life points. And then for our secret, Dverg of the Nordic Afar. Yeah, they're really digging the uh, the Nordic cards for this set. And then for our super, another Blue Rose Dragon. Sun Dragon Inzi, Black Boost, and that is it for this pack. I think you've had uh, enough fun watching me and listening to me. Let's uh, speed things up a bit, shall we? Oof. I'm gonna stop and talk about this one. <sighs> Secret Rare Formula Synchron. That is, a, that is another gorgeous card. It's a shame it's only at one, because I would love to play three. Another hot card of this set, the common Effect Veiler. Effect Veilers have slowly risen in price, despite being reprinted three or four times. People still needed them, still played them. Very competitive cards, so Konami decided to put them as a common in this. Though it seems to be short printed, as I've only pulled one so far. Huh, I was not aware Max C came Ultra in the set. Well, now. <laughs> Look at that. This will be the fourth time it was printed because it was secret, then super, then it was ultimate, now ultra. Whoa, all right, well, I guess I'll just keep talking because there is a secret Crimson Blader. Oh, that's pretty. This set is a very pretty set with a super junk archer right behind it. Alright, so now that the dust has settled, there were a lot of great pulls. Uh, let me just take a moment and further organize it, and then we'll dive right in and discuss what is good and bad about Legendary Collection 5Ds. Alright, so for a review of this set, is it worth purchasing? Well, let's break it down by... Commons, supers, ultras, secrets, the rares. See what comes in this. Now at the common level, I would say there is not much that this set necessarily offers. Um, in the monsters for that are common, I mean you've got a lot of Blackwing stuff, but it's mostly just the Blackwing monsters that don't get played. Uh, I've noticed this about Black Wings, they keep releasing newer and newer support for it, and it just won't make it into a competitive Black Wing deck. So pretty much all of these cards aren't even going to be played. So that whole chunk of common monsters isn't relevant. There's also a lot of Resonator monsters, a lot of Nordic monsters, a lot of Synchron monsters, and a lot of Mechlord monsters that are all common. And those also are not really necessarily competitive, therefore they won't bring that great of a price. Um, I would say the only three just normal common monsters that are even relevant, we have ourselves Effect Veiler, Vice Dragon, and Black Salvo. 
Now, Vice Dragon is just a good five-star dark dragon. It can find its way into Chaos Dragon decks if that deck wants to play a few tech cards. So that's not, I mean, that's not too, too good. Then Black Salvo, it's just, you know, it was part of Salvo Dad. It was part of a few other different decks. Usually it would summon uh, Decoichi, so you've already plused one because uh, Decoichi is allowing you to to draw a card, and then you're summoning it a back with Black Salvo for Black Rose Dragon or something along those lines. And then the one common that truly is desirable, uh, Effect Veiler, I only pulled one in the entirety of the case, which means that it is sh a short print common, but, you know, it's I think it's 4 to $5 if you get one of these. Um, so if you're only buying one Legendary Collection, chances are you're probably not going to get a Veiler, but if you do, it's a plus. Just beware that Veilers do seem to be short printed in this set. In terms of uh, Synchro Monsters that are common, I suppose this is more so where the commons, the commons shine, because these are actually actually pretty useful. So you've got your Blackwing support, you've got a bit of TG support, uh, you have the uh, Moon Dragon and the Sun Dragon. And then you have a lot of... Uh, what are these? These are... it's all like Synchron support. You know, the Nitro Warrior, the Turbo Warrior, Power Tool Dragon. I don't believe that's actually part of the Synchro. The, uh, what is it? The Synchron. But, but, no, I think Junk Synchron, actually. Is that how you summon Power Tool? No, I'm thinking of the other one. But, but anyways, and then you have uh, Avenging Knight Parth Shaft. This was actually a pretty consistent one that I pulled. Uh, so most of these aren't really short printed at all. Um... And then you've got a few of just like the staple major dragons that all come common. Out of uh, 12 cases, I pulled two Stardust Dragons, a common Black Rose. But like I said, you pull an Ultra Black Rose. Well, you don't pull it, but it comes with every single box that you buy anyways. So kind of getting a common Black Rose is kind of just, here you go, here's another one. Uh, Ancient Fairy Dragon comes common. I, I have three of those, I believe. Um... And the th interesting thing about this set, I don't think they've ever done this in the set before, is that they have all of these at a higher rarity. So let me uh, pull out my Ultras here. As you see, we have an Ultra Ancient Fairy Dragon, an Ultra Red Dragon Archfiend. Let's see, I did not pull an Ultra Stardust, but I can only assume that it, it exists when the, within this set. I'm definitely going to have to look that up. Um, so yeah, that's something different they did. Let's see. See, they don't even have different set numbers. So the common Red Dragon Archfiend has the exact same set number as the Ultra. EN069. So that is something that they, that they did that is completely different. Uh, and then in terms of the spells and the traps, there's really not much going on in the commons there. I mean, out of this entire thing, it's some Earthbound, uh, Earthbound Elemental support, uh, what do we got, Blackwing support, Spirit Force, tons of those. I mean, the only two cards that I could even see remotely useful is Graceful Revival and Red Screen, which Red Screen can be played without Red Dragon Archfiend. Um, it just says all of your opponent's monsters can't attack, and you have to pay a thousand life points during the end phases. Graceful Revival is just special summon a level 2 or lower monster in your graveyard, which I mean, we've already got triple Call of the Haunted and triple, um, what's the other one? Special summons a monster with a thousand or less attack from the graveyard. I'm trying to think. Has Swordsman of Landstar for the artwork, but I don't really see Graceful Revival getting played much with both of those being at 3. And then in the spells, I'd, it's even worse, to be honest. They really just didn't care about the commons in this set at all. Uh, Thorn of Malice, Junk Barrage. So yeah, not, not too much going on in the common spell or traps. Uh, so don't expect to make your money back through the commons. That is, that is not where this set shines. Uh, Alright, let me go grab the uh, rares. Alright, so here are the rares... All right, so here are the rares of the set. Start things off, I want to target the uh, fusion monster that I, that I got here. We have a Dragon Knight Draco Equest. Uh, I only pulled one of these in any rarity, so this either only comes rare 
or I just didn't pull any hollow versions of this card. Um, this came out originally in Duelist Revolution, and it was the Ultra Ultimate Ghost. It was actually used as a side deck card because the uh, fusion monster requirements are one dragon type synchro monster and a warrior type monster. So things like Hero Beat or like X Sabers, I believe X Sabers has some warriors. Uh, anything that runs warriors could side deck this and super polymerizations back when super poly was at three and use people's stardusts or different things to create this and that would be a pretty drastic swing in the game. Um, in terms of the the synchros in the rares, not not too much going on. Hyper Psychic Blaster, Exploder Dragon Wing, and a sing a single driven Daredevil. Um, and then in the spells and traps, you know, it's just more Earthbound support, more Red Dragon, Archfiend support, Nordic. A thing that I do like in this set is that Cards of Black Feathers comes as a rare. I am quite a fan of rares, so I think that's one of the one of the rares that, that stands out. Because it's actually useful, too. That is played in competitive Blackwing decks. What do we have here? That's Nordic support. That's more Red Dragon Archfiend. More Nordic, 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 Nordic. Golden Apples, which is Nordic. And Earthbound. So they're really pushing all of these kind of Tier 2 and Rogue decks with this set. Um, yeah, they're definitely focusing on Earthbound and Mechlord. Uh, for, our, for our rare monsters, got a Violet Witch, Shieldwing, Power Breaker. And then this is where a few of the, uh, what are these, the Oracle of the Sun, I think this is this is all the stuff that summons um, the Moon and the Sun Dragon, Quila and Inta, that come as commons in this set. Uh, there's also a lot of Mechlord stuff in, in the rares, so Fire Ant Caster, that is also part of the Moon and Sun Dragon, Rose Tentacles, that is plant support, four Strong Wind Dragons. Turret Warrior, Steam Synchron, some more Mech Lord stuff, Mono Synchrons, Level Eater. So yeah, not much too going on in the uh, the rares other than I would say Card of Black Feathers. So if you're looking to make your money back, chances are you're not going to do it within the rares either. Alright, so in our supers, I only got one super spell. In fact, Hollow Spells didn't really seem to have much of a focus uh, in this set. Definitely a lot more Hollow Monsters and Hollow Synchros. Uh, and this is just Red Dragon Archfiend support, more or less. Uh, for the Hollow Super Traps, Chaos Infinity, which that is Mechlord support, and Mechlord Factory, which by the name, also Mechlord support. And then in our Supers... We have ourselves TG Halberd Cannon. Originally came out as Ultra, so this is a rarity decrease, but it also makes it more available to people who need it. Uh, TG Blade Blaster. Majestic Star Dragon and Majestic Red Dragon. Then we have ourselves two Blackwing, Silverwind, The Ascendant, so Blackwing support. A single Goyo Guardian, which is probably one of the most desirable supers that you can pull in the Legendary Collection. I only got one of them out of all of the all of the packs that I open. So definitely more so short printed. But right now on eBay, they're only six or seven dollars each. So that's pretty awesome. Um, they are in short supply, but there's a lot of them right now because so many of these packs are being opened right now. So I could actually see Goyo going up in price. Even this super that just came out, I could see it going up in price. Uh, Shooting Star Dragon. They decided to reprint both the Shooting Star Dragon and the Red Nova Dragon as supers in this set. Then we have two Junk Berserkers. Uh, definitely goes along with the uh, Synchron Monsters. Uh, Chaos King Archfiend. 100 Eyes Dragon, pulled four of those, so if anything, those are overprinted. Junk Warrior and Junk Archer. Junk Archer's actually been expensive for quite some time. It only came out in the Duelist pack as an Ultra, and anyone who wanted to play any sort of Synchro, Plant XYZ, or just a Synchron type deck would actually have to put, I think it was close to $10 or $15 for a, a single Junk Archer. 
So it's good that that finally got a reprint. Perhaps it's been reprinted before, but I'm almost certain only the Ultra is available at this current moment. Correct me if I'm wrong, of course. And then for the Super Monsters, this is where all of the Earthbound stuff came into play. And there's a lot of them. Um, Earthbound is not a deck that gets played very often. So don't expect to, to sell or trade. Perhaps someone's making an Earth bound immortal deck at your local and you'll be lucky enough to trade all the super stuff but i couldn't see this going for more than a dollar a piece and then as a really really solid reprint you have matei on the time lord great side deck card depending on the format also really good in chain burn we have a drill synchron Blue Rose Dragon, uh, that is Black Rose Dragon Support, originally came out as Secret, so a rarity decrease, as well as making it more available. Cephalon, the Ultimate Time Lord. Earthbound Line Worker, which is Earthbound Immortal Support. Doppel Warrior, which is definitely one of the standout supers that comes in this. If you're planning on making any sort of Synchron deck or Synchro XYZ plant deck, Doppel Warrior is definitely an awesome addition. Rose Archer, which is plant support, more or less. Then we have quite a few Mech Lords. Uh, Mech Lord Emperor Granel, and four Mech Lord Emperor Weissel, and two Mech Lord Emperor Skill. So I'd say the only standout for the supers that I got would probably be the Doppel Warrior. Um, all the Earthbound Elemental stuff, or Earthbound Immortal stuff, apologies, has really cool artwork. But other than that, not really too uh not really too impressive but when we move to the ultras that's when stuff starts getting real ultra cards of consonants this was played in you know dragon rulers it's also played in uh any sort of chaos blue eyes build you know pitch white stone out of blue eyes so you'd probably run three of these and three trade-ins which trade-ins also come ultra from another legendary collection so that will finally match up then you've got ourselves one for one, a very beautiful ultra. Prior to this, I believe it only came as super, so that is a very pretty addition to uh, to hollow cards. Then we have TGX One HL, just TG support, Fragrant Storm, which is defi definitely an interesting, definitely an interesting uh, addition. I think, yeah, definitely plant support. I don't know if they ran it in Sylvans, but an interesting rarity bump. Then we got Magic Planter. Prior to this, it was only available super, and it peaked at around $15, $20 each. Uh, it was considered a possible really good tech card because uh, a lot of the cards, or a lot of the decks, were running Triple Fiendish Chain as well as a few other continuous trap cards. And on top of that, uh, Fire Fists were very good when that car card peaked in its price. They've got Advanced Draw, that is also a rarity bump to Ultra. And last but certainly not least, Black Whirlwind Ultra. Absolutely gorgeous looking card. Um, definitely making Blackwing players happy. Ah. Yeah, Blackwing players love this set. I, can, I can't tell you enough about how much Blackwing players love this set. Uh, I pulled this in the first two boxes that I filmed. Reveal, uh, target three TG monsters in your graveyard. Shuffle all three into your deck and draw two cards. That is a, a very cool effect. Then we have an Ultra Nordic Relic. Scrap Iron Scarecrow comes as an Ultra, and Starlight Road comes as an Ultra. So these are actually pretty useful. Both Scrap Iron Scarecrow and Starlight Road are actually played cards. So I could see those being 2 to $3 each, almost. Alright, for our Ultras, Ancient Fairy Dragon. Which I think there's a few more of those. Let me, uh... No, I guess not. Only one. Red Dragon Archfiend. Once again, these both come common. <laughs> Which is a very interesting choice. Lightning Warrior. Very cool print. Black Wing Dragon. Also comes common. I pulled one of those common. And then this is where the Ultras get really good. Got ourselves a Mistworm. Naturia Beast. Naturia Barkion. These three prior to this were uh, Hidden Arsenal cards. Came in Dual Terminal. And came in Hidden Arsenal. All three were secret. All three were kind of difficult to get. So the fact that they were reprinted in this as Ultras is really awesome. Because this is what they looked like without the, the DT on top of them, as there are no DT secrets. So 
They look great. Then we've got ourselves three Orient Dragons and four Magical Androids. By no means are either of these short printed. Uh, playable cards, not so much Orient Dragon as uh, no one really is playing Synchros at the moment, other than, uh, what's the new deck? Zhang Wang. I, I can't remember that. Can't, rem <laughs> can't remember those cards. Then for our Ultra Monsters, Maxi, absolutely beautiful making it more available to players, as it is, if it's not a main deck card, it's definitely a side deck card right now. Really good against Burning Abyss, so I'm glad that they included that in this set. Then we have a whole bunch of Nordic support. We've got Svartulf of the Nordic Afar, and we got three Vanadis of the Nordic Ascendant. Then for our TG stuff, that comes Ultra. Striker and Rush Rhino both come Ultra. We've got ourselves Trap Eater, really good side deck card, uh, a plus one for you as you special summon this monster and send whatever face-up trap card they had to the grave. We've got some really gorgeous Blackwing stuff. Blizzard, Kalut, Bora, Sirico. I mean, Sirico's already came Ultra in its original set, so this card as an Ultra is a bit unnecessary, but I'll let it slide. Shura. Oh, there's even... There's three Ultra Syracos. I would have loved to have all these be Kalutes. Or just anything other than... <laughs> than Syracos. But what can you do? Uh, Gladius, the Midnight Sun. Shura, the Blue Flame. So definitely a lot of Ultra Blackwing cards pulled. Um, not necessarily short printed because there's so many different. But, I mean, only one Blizzard in 12... Legendary Collections. Only one Kalut in 12 Legendary Collections. That's pretty That's pretty substantial. Uh, let's see. We've got Synchron Explorer and Quick Draw Synchron as two Ultra Reprints. This Quick Draw Synchron is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, I, I used to play Plants, which is why I'm really pumped about this set, because it came with just a lot of cards that I used to have that only were common. Then we have a Queen Angel of Roses. This card was actually played in a, a very recent dragon deck. It was a dragon plant deck. Um, if you don't know what this is, uh, you special summon it. Oh no, you tribute summon this card in face of attack position by tributing one plant type monster. So it is a level 7 that you can summon with one tribute. It's pretty good. Uh, then we've got three Rosaria, the stately fallen angel. Fallen Angel of Roses, and Hedgeguard. Actually, no, this is the good one. Because Queen Angel of Roses... Fallen Angel of Roses is the better one. You can special summon this card from your hand by returning one plant-type monster you control to the hand. So that's much better. You can't special summon it using... a, uh... like a fluff token from Dandelion, but... if a deck is made properly, you'll always have a plant-type monster on the field. And then, like I said, for uh, for spells, there wasn't really much reprinting going on. There was only one secret spell that I pulled, and that was a Black Garden. Which, I mean, it looks gorgeous, but I would have loved to see a few more of the spells that got reprinted as secret. I know for a fact that Emergency Teleport comes in this set as a secret, so that would have been beautiful to see. We've got ourselves Full House to start off the secret traps. This was played quite a bit for a while, especially in... Uh, Fire Fists. It was side deck, and eventually it became main deck material. Got ourselves a single secret trap stun. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, Delta Crow, anti reverse. Usually played in twos in Black Wings, de depending on the format. That is Nordic support. Then we got ourselves three TG1 EM1, which that was played in threes when TG stun was big. And then three Vanity's Emptiness. So luckily this card, which is pretty much the, the prize card of the set, does not seem to be short printed, at least based on what I have. Like, I had 12 boxes, I opened three, in my mind, not really a short printed secret. Um, it is currently worth $31. So if you were to buy a legendary collection, and you got this, bam, you have made your money back, and all of the other hollows were just, were just extra. Alright, so let's round off the secret 
Synchro Monsters. These are gorgeous, by the way. Um, the Secrets are definitely where this set shines. And definitely where you're going to make your money back. We have a Secret Colossal Fighter. Secret Armory Arm. Absolutely beautiful. Mm. Secret Wonder Magician. So if there's any TG players left in the world, they are dying right now because their set or their deck now can look absolutely ridiculous. Drill Warrior. Crimson Blader, secret. Thought Ruler Archfiend, secret. Ancient Sacred Wyvern. I pulled a I pulled three Stygian Sergeants. <clears throat> two Hyper Librarian. Two Formula Synchron. And a Black Wing Armor Master. So, I mean, the secret synchros that this set decided to create, just mind-boggling. How pretty they are. I'm sure I didn't even pull all of them, so there are probably more, more to get. And last, but certainly not least, are our secret monsters. So there's a lot of Nordic monsters that, that ended up being secret. Um... But we'll, we'll start off. So, two glow-up bulbs. Very beautiful. Originally only secret uh, in Korea prior to this. Junk Synchron. Absolutely gorgeous. Prior to this, it only came as Ultra and Common, I believe. And we have a Mechlord Astro Mechanical. I believe this was a uh, jump promo. And we've got Valkyrie of the Nordic Ascendant. A, another beautiful secret that is also a Blackwing card, Vayu, Emblem of Honor. TG Cyber Magicians. Quilt Bolt Hedgehogs. Unknown Synchron. Secret Gold Fox of the Nordic Beasts. Secret Debris Dragon with which, my god. I mean, this has been reprinted shiny multiple times, but that secret is, is really gorgeous. It came super in a turbo pack, ultimate in the most recent pack, astral pack, I believe, and it was rare and common. So it has been pr reprinted many times, but that's secret. Mm. Secret battle fader, another gorgeous card. Secret transgenost of the Nordic beasts. I apologize if you play Nordic beasts, and I am just butchering all of these names. Three mech lord astro dragon. TG Werewolf, very beautiful. Tangineer of the... Uh, let's see if I can say this night right. Tangrisnir, Tangrisnir of the Nordic Beasts. I am mostly Norwegian too, so it's really sad that I can't pronounce all these. And then rounding out our secrets is Deverg of the Nordic Afar. So this set is a very beautiful set. In terms of is it worth purchasing? I would give it a yes. I would say it is worth purchasing. Just Vanity's Emptiness alone will pay for a box that you buy. And then on top of that, you have so many great, cool cards that come in this set. Most of them will not be in the commons or rares. In fact, most of them won't be in the supers either. If you pull a Go Goyo Guardian, that is fantastic. But chances are you won't, as it seems to be short printed. However, in the Ultras and Secrets, there are so many very beautiful cards that come in this set that I say that purchasing a Legendary Collection 5Ds is 100% worth it. Alright, well, thank you for watching, and have a great day!